Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry for the lateness. I didn't have internet right now. Se, se, se apagó la luz. <laughs> How are you today? Nice, nice. Nice. Excellent. Oh, hello, Janira. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Welcome Me too. <laughs> hello, Carla, Carlos, Pablo. Thank you for being on time. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Emerson, Carlos, Eduardo. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Good evening. So, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Now we're gonna start here with our class. Just allow me one second. Wait, one moment. I just want to check right now the material that you should have completed by today, okay? Today is um, the second week. We're finishing the second week, right? So we are going to see right now right, all the information about this. Just give me a moment. Very good. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Congratulations to Yanira, Wendy, Tatiana. Congratulations also to Carlos, Elena, Emerson, Imelda, Joana, Jose, Jose López, no, Jose, perdón, Carla Eugenia, Car Carol Elizabeth. Oscar Magaña and Pablo Adalberto that finished already with week one and week two. Now, the ones who have finished the midterm, right? The midterm only is for Carlos Vladimir, 90, Elena, 90, Emerson, 95. Then I only have Joanna, congratulations, 100. Carla Eugenia, 100. Oscar 90, Pablo 90, very good, very good numbers. And Sara 90, Wendy 95, and Janira 90. Okay, those are the numbers that we have for the activities that you should have completed by today, right? So it means that there are some of you who have not finished week two and who have not finished also the midterm. So you should, please. Right, by tomorrow, uh, I just want you to, to imagine this. Ustedes trabajan de lunes a viernes. Mañana les va a ser súper difícil estar haciendo las cosas a último tiempo. Right? Entonces es mejor hacerlas poco a poco, todos los días, que una actividad les toma 5 o 10 minutos, a acumular las cinco actividades. 10 minutos cada uno son una hora. Right? So it's better if you do five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow etc etc right now we're going to have here also a, i would like to know if you have questions about the classes that we have had previously any any questions about the use of can the use of uh, going to the use of could no questions No questions for today. Uh -huh. Now, oh, let me ask. No, no questions? Okay, I will ask you questions then. <laughs> Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Uh -huh. este, con el tema de las tareas, yo las iba haciendo conforme hemos ido recibiendo la clase. O sea, porque no me puedo adelantar porque no, no entiendo lo que voy a hacer en la otra tarea. Entiendo que la segunda semana finaliza este miércoles, porque comenzamos un miércoles. We finish tomorrow. Yes, by tomorrow you should finish. But that's why we have uh, worked with all the grammar topics. 
todos los, todos los temas gramaticales que vienen en, esta, en estas actividades, los, por lo menos los, las tareas que estamos haciendo son temas que ya son como repetitivos. Pero ya los vieron en el nivel 1, en el nivel 2 y en el nivel 3. Right? Now, por ejemplo, vamos a ver el pasado. Right? Que está en el libro, está el pasado. O sea, ese sí no lo hemos visto. Right? Y hay cosas extras que vamos agregando. So, we're going to work on that. Right? Pero traten, siempre traten. Por ejemplo, hay compañeros que ya saben aquí quiénes son. Hay como cuatro compañeros que ya terminaron todo. Right? It's, not, it's a matter of practice. Ahora, esto es para, estos ejercicios son eh, requisitos de INSAFOR y son prácticos. Por eso si usted los hace una vez y se saca cero, los puede hacer cinco, cinco seis, siete, ocho, diez veces. Right? Ahora, lo que me importa... Pero la, idea, es... la, la idea, entiendo yo también, la idea es entenderlo, no solo hacerlo, porque puedo tirarlo yo ahí a la garduña y hasta que me salga el, el que es correcto, pero la idea es que lo entienda. Uh -huh. Ok, trabajen ellos entonces. Now, let's continue with the class, right? We're going to work here together. And last week, we were working with demonstratives, right? So, what do you remember about demonstratives? What are demonstratives? We have four types of demonstratives. Do you remember those? Mm -hmm. Demonstratives. Demonstrative pronouns. This, does, those, and this. Exactly. Thank you, Joanna. Very good. Those are the demonstratives that we use. Okay, very good. Now, we have demonstrative for singular nouns and for plural nouns, right? Now, can you give me an example, Vladimir, of a demonstrative with singular nouns, please? Mm -hmm. I, the singular. Yes. I see. I want. I want to that car. I want to that car. Okay. Good example, Benjamin. I want to that car. Now, with your example, there is something missing or there is something that we need to delete, right? I want, here, if we say, we can say, I want to buy that car, I want to rent that car, right? Or we can only say, I want that car. I want to buy a car, I want to buy that car. I want to buy, excellent, that car. And another example could be also just saying, oh, I want that car, right? Okay. So both examples would be fine if we leave them like this, right? But here we do need a verb, right? To express what kind of action you want. Excellent, Vladimir. Another example here with demonstratives, Emerson. This chair is broken. Okay, this shirt is it's, it's broken. Broken. Okay, very good. Right? Excellent. We have one for singular. Now let's go ahead and do plurals. Uh, Carla. Plural. Um, can I see? Can I see that jeans? That jeans. Okay. Now, remember, with jeans, we say a pair of jeans. A pair of jeans. There's going to be one. Right? This is single. This is single. Spires are in, in singular. Yes, a pair of jeans. Exactly. So that would be singular. 
Now, when we say a pair of jeans is this, uh, let me show you. Give me a moment. Now, in English, right? In English, when we say a pair, we're talking about this, right? And why do we say a pair? Because we have one and two, right? That's why we say a pair, because we have one leg, another leg, right? So it's a pair of It's like, for example, your glasses is a pair of glasses, but it's only one, one accessory. Uh, uh, left or right? Left or right, exactly, but it's only one. But we say, uh, oh, I love that pair of glasses, right? It's a pair of glasses, exactly. Very good, Carla. Excellent, excellent. Now let's go ahead and see more examples. Um, I want examples with be going to. Right? Let's talk about the future right now. And let's see your examples. Joanna, tell me, tell me what are you going to do uh, this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? I am going to check a budget. Okay, I am going to check a budget. For what? Um, for um, um, uh, me medir what is the for medir the rentabilidad. Quiero decir <laughs> to measure the uh, rentabilidad de qué? Perdón. De la compañía. To measure. The company's liability. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. The company's liability. Excellent, Joanna. Very good. Eduardo, give us an example with be going to. What are you going to do this weekend? Eduardo, what are you going to do this weekend? And, sorry, the next weekend, I'm going to the lake. I'm going to? To the lake. I'm yeah. going to the lake. Okay, very good. Javier, what are you going to do next Friday? I am going to work in my personal project. You're going to get? I I am going to work oh, in work. my personal project. In my personal project. Oh, that sounds fun. Very good. Janira, what about you, Janira? Um Wendy, Wendy is go going to. Mm -hmm. Wendy is going to. Visit, visit a, visit friend, a friend, visit a friend in, in the, in the night. At night, okay. At, at, at night. night. Very good, that's an excellent example. Thank you, Miss Janira. And that takes me to this, right? We say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we always are going to say at night. Okay? So I work in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and I also work at night. So we have different options there. Now let me just put this right now because it's raining. Just give me a second. Now, can you tell me the last example here for going to, 
Pablo Adalberto. For example. Yes, please. Uh, I want. I want to watch. Uh, uh, pardon. I go. I going to watch uh, the show. Um. The Franco Scamilla. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I like Franco Scamilla. He's so fun. Okay. okay. I am going to watch. Right. Franco Escamilla show, right? Very good. Thank you so much, Pablo. Appreciate it. Thank you everyone for your examples, right? Now what we're going to do is that we are going to work on our book, okay? So now tell me, can you listen to me right now or do you listen to the rain? I listen. You, you, can listen, you can listen clearly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. If you listen to the rain too much, let me know, please. Now, we're going to work right now, right, with some of the questions that we need to complete. This is vocabulary. And we're going to work on page 28. Let's go to page 28 right now for demonstrative pronouns. And we are going to do this together, okay? Now, we are going to use right now these, that, these, and those, right? Those are the pronouns that we have practiced and the ones that we are going to use. Now, let's go ahead and start working with them. Number one says, how could you buy something like talking about a purse in your hand, right? Now here, right? We are going to read the description, right? And write down a demonstrative pronoun, which is any of this. With a, how could you buy something like, right? And we're talking about something that is in our hand, right? So we can say, how could you buy something like that, right? Something that is in my hand, right? For example. Oh, well, this is not for my purse. This is my purse, right? How could you buy something like that, right? And we have something that's there. Now, it says, with a pile of reports on your lap, right? This is the scenario. With a pile of reports on your lap. What is going to be the demonstrative pronoun that represents this scenario? With a pile of reports on your lap. Can I say, these reports are very heavy. Those reports are very heavy. Or that reports are very heavy. Which is the best option? We know that reports is plural, right? So what is the best option right there? This or those? This. 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 Exactly, very well, very well. So we're going to put here, right? These reports are very heavy. Excellent. Now, I have to wear, and it says here, comfortable shoes. Comfortable shoes. Now we know that that's comfortable shoes. Is it plural or singular? What do you think? It's plural. It's plural. Plural. plural, excellent, it's plural, plural, very good. So we have two options for plural right here. So what's the best one? Does, does. I had to wear those comfortable shoes I bought, those or this? This, exactly, this, very well. These comfortable shoes. Can you bring me cup I left in Anna's desk? Plural or singular? Cup. It's for huh? singular. Singular. It's singular. singular. It's singular. Very well. It's singular. So now that. Make, that. Very good. 
Can you bring me that cup of left in Anna's desk? Excellent, because someone has to bring it to me, right? Very well. Are Mr. Pineda's children, we're talking about more than one child, right? And we're talking about a picture hanging on the wall. This. This or those? Those. Those, because Tatiana. it's far. It's far. Excellent. That's a very good explanation. It's far. Very well. And number six. Number six. Uh, Let's see, about a picture hanging on the wall. In picture, you see my wife and daughter. But now we're talking about the picture. What is the best option? It's plural. Plural? Picture is plural? Singular. 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 Exactly, picture is singular. So should I use in that or in this picture? It's a picture hanging on the wall. Is that in that picture? In that, in that, in that picture. That. Very good. In that picture, you see my wife and daughter. Excellent. Now let's practice pronunciation. Number one, pronunciation, please. Read number one, Luis Javier. How could you would see something like that? Very good. About a force in your head. Excellent, Javier. Number two, Tatiana. These reports are very hard uh, with a pile of reports on your lap. Excellent. Pablo, number three. Uh, I can see a, a, the screen. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. I Let have, uh, I don't have el energy in my house. Oh, uh, don't worry. In no my cell phone. No se preocupe. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> uh, Jose Alexander, number three. Yeah. I had to wear these comfortable shoes I bought. Very good. Uh, Bernardo, number four. Uh, can you bring me that? Sorry, can you bring me that cup I left in Anna's desk? Very good. Wendy, number five. Those are Mr. Pineda's children about a picture hang, hanging on the wall. Very well. Imelda, number six. Okay. Uh, Oscar Noé, number six. In that picture, you see my endowment about a picture hanging on the wall. Very good. Excellent, guys. Very good pronunciation. I like that. Thank you so much. Now we're going to continue with the next activity, right? In our next activity, right, we're going to complete different questions and we're going to write out, write the questions and then ask to our partners. But is this that we need to use can or could? Right? Remember, we use them for possibilities. In level four, we have used them for possibilities. Right? Now I'm going to write the first one. What can you do to improve your English skills? That's my question. What can I do with number two? When could? Mm -hmm. Practice every day. When could you? No, right now, question number two. What could be question number two, Vladimir? Okay. Uh-huh. When could you help me? 
When could with you help homework. me? With the homework. Excellent. Very good. When could you help me with the homework? Homework. Very good, Luis. Where can you? Where can you? Mm -hmm. What can we write here? Questions, questions. Nothing? Uh huh. Where can you? Where can you send the products? Okay, where can you send the products to? Excellent. Where can you send the products to? Excellent. Very well. Thank you so much. How could you? How? We're talking about processes here, right? So what can we write with how? How could you? Um, how could you? How could you make this paper flower? How could you make this? flower these paper flowers yes paper this paper paper flower flowers very good how could you make these paper flowers and the last one who can you can you who can you what can we write here Janita, anything in mind? Uh, uh, who can you uh, in my homework? Who can you? Who can you in my homework? Okay, but we are. This is the place we're missing the verb. Oh, verb is um, after you. Hell. Who can you help? Who can you help? Uh, my my homework. Kind of, kind of. But what can we say with homework? If we have homework, who can you help? Let's help. Help me study. Who can you help? Help me study. Mm, but you're asking someone else. If you say, who, who can you help me study? Remember the subject questions. Mm, who can you help me to study? Who can you help me to study? But me, it doesn't work there. This is incorrect. Because in that case, we say, who can help me to study? Who can help me? Oh, Eduardo can help me, right? Who can help me to study? But if you say, who can you? We're talking about another person, right? We're not talking about me. We're talking about another person. Now, let's say I'm talking to Joanna. Now, hey, Joanna, who can you help to do something? Not me, but she. She will help someone else. What can we write there? Who can you help to study? Um, who can you sell her, sell her a, a headset? Who can you help? Who can you sell a headset to? 
oh, I can sell a headset to Carla. Very good, right? Now, who can you sell a headset to? My answer, I can sell a headset to Carla. So in this case, we need this part, to, to someone. We do that to someone else, so that will be here. Very good, excellent. Now we have these questions here. Let me ask you, before we continue, I will call the attendance really quick, right? Let's see here. Vladimir, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Present. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Emerson Ulises Monroy Cali. Present. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Elizabeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Carol Elizabeth, ok. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, Miss. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present, teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present, teacher. Sara Vigay López Portillo. Present, teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Habla de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you so much. So we have there our students and we are going to continue. Okay, now question number one. Uh, we already have the question, so let's see. Carlos Vladimir, because he, I know he has the answer. Number one, what can you do to improve your English? I... I need to practice every day. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Carlos. Now, can you ask question number two to another person, please? Okay. Uh, Sara Abigail. Sara, okay. You ask the question, please. Okay. Sara, when could you help me with my homework? Sara? Repeat, please. Okay. Uh, when could you help me with the homework? Teacher, me acabo de conectar. Eh, no okay. sé el tema. Sorry. This is the topic that we worked with last week. Can and could. It's the same. We're just practicing. Es práctica de lo que ya hicimos. So, when could you help me with the homework? Uh, yes, I can. But when? When? Time? No, no, teacher. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Joanna, when could you help me with the homework? Um, I could uh, I could help me uh, your homework the Saturday. Very good. Very good. I could help you with the homework on Saturday. Because you say when, when, right? When 
Can you help me with the homework? Right? Say, hey. What, what, is the, what is the answer, teacher, please? Yes. When we say, when can you help me with the homework? Right? I can help you mm -hmm. with the homework next week. Right? So okay. we need to be very careful when we use object pronouns, like me after the verse. Right? Okay, thank you, Joanna. Joanna, ask question number three to someone else. Okay, uh, Carlos Vladimir. Okay, no, he already participated, another person. Oh, perdón. Uh, Carla Eugenia. Carla Eugenia, okay. Ask the question, please. Uh, where, where can, can you send... send... Ah. No, Joanna yeah. is going to ask you, Carla. Okay, where can you send the products to? The products can be sent to my house. Okay, very good. Carla, ask question number four to another student. Um, Emerson? Hi. Okay, ask the question, please, Carla. Question number um, four. How could you make this paper flower? You could, you could do folder the paper in a box. Okay, yeah. Now ask the, question, the last question, please. Okay. To Miss Janita. Okay, ask the question. Who can you sell a headset to? Um, I, the 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 customer. Okay, use the complete sentence. I can sell the headset. The, the customer. Okay, complete the sentence, please. Subject, verb, complement. Um, I, I can sell a headset the customer. To the customer. Good, to the customer. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Good examples. Now we're gonna keep practicing today, right? Now, let's go ahead and work. Well, this is uh, something, right? Just for vocabulary. So we're going to work right now, right? With these 12 words. So you're going to listen to me, right? And now you are going to repeat, right? So I will need three students. Now help me out. Please, Pablo, Sara, and Carol. Please help me. Now, Pablo, you're going to repeat these words with me, okay? Listen. Pick up the phone. Understand. Explain. Complain. Repeat, please. Pick up the phone. Um, understand, explain, complain. Excellent. Thank you so much, Pablo. Now, please continue, Sara. Help. Request information. Get prices. Provide one's information. Help. Request information. Get price. Provide one information. Okay, thank you. Now, just one more. Prices. Prices. Help. Help. Okay, very good. And the last one here, please, Carol. Right. Assist. Buy. Call. Receive. Buy, call, receive. 
Okay, thank you so much. Now please go with the same words. Right, go with the same words right here. Emerson, Eduardo, and Carla. Okay, miss. Pick up the phone. Understand, explain, complain. Complain, thank you. Help, request information, get prices, provide one's information. Okay, thank you. Assist, buy, call, receive. Receive, very good. Just this one, right? Request. Request, request, repeat, request. request, request, excellent, very good. Now, what we're going to do right now is that we are going to divide, divide the activities that you think the customer is going to do or a representative is going to do. For example, who is going to be a representative? If I call right now, right, and I call Claro, right, I am going to be the customer and the person on the phone is going to be the representative, right? So what are the things that you think the customer is going to say? And what are the things that you think the, the representative is going to do? Right, that's our... Uh, exercise right now for example right we have here i say uh, pick up the phone do you think it is the job of the customer or the representative pick up the phone customer or representative 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 yes pick up pick up the phone Okay, pick up the phone. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and see understand. Hmm. Understand. What is the meaning of understand? Who is that job? Is that job for the customer or the representative? Explain, complain. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do that together right now. Teacher, teacher, excuse me. I I not understand the activity. We are activity. dividing. We are dividing the vocabulary, Javier. We have 12 words. So now number one, number one, pick up the phone, goes here. Understand where does it go here or here? We need to decide because what we're doing is dividing the vocabulary, right? We're separating the vocabulary. We have 12 words. Some of them are for customer and some others are for the representative. So number one is here, not here. What about number two? Number three, four, etc. We need to divide it. For example, if I say understand, who is going to do that? Representative. The representative, okay. Very good. Representative. They need to understand what the customer wants. Very good. Explain. Explain. Who is going to explain? Representative. Representative. Oops, sorry. He says understand. <laughs> okay. He explain also the representative. But what about the customer? Doesn't the customer explain the issues too? Or the problems to the representative? When you call customer, 
that could be also the customer explain right very good explain now complain whose job is it it's the, the customer comments the customer complains very good so we already did four now do you understand what we're doing javier more or less more or less okay let's start moves. working <laughs> Let's start working. We have other four, four, well, no, eight words. Five to 12. Put them there. Help the customer. Help the customer. The, the customer helps. No. The customer doesn't help you. The representative helps. Okay. The representative helps the customer. Customer help. No, the customer doesn't help. The representative helps. It's if you are on the phone, you're supposed to help. Que no ayuda no te claras si se prende. Ajá. In, in explain is customer or company's representative? Both. Explain? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Miss request information, customer. Customer, very good. Excellent, very good. Request information is for the customer. Get prices, a uh, company's representative. Get prices. Yes, uh -huh. like you get prizes. Okay. Yes. No, it's cost. No, customer. it's customer. Exactly. Exactly. Customer. Yeah. Customer. Uh -huh. What else? Provide, Provide one information, information. Representative. representative. Provide one's information. For example, uh, have you ever called Claro or have you ever called Tigo or have you ever called them? When you call, what do they what do they ask you? They say, "Hi, thank you for calling Claro." How can I help you? Right? Then you say, hi, my name is Carol. What else do they ask? What else do they ask? Providing one's information. You have to provide your information. Name, address. Address, do we, right? Very good, they ask that. So you provide once information oops once information very good number nine assist companies representative that's right very good buy buy customer customer, customer. customer. <laughs> yeah call Customer. The customer, right? Very good. And receive, receive. The customer. The customer. Right. Sometimes, sometimes they also receive, right? Like receive your information, right? And sometimes they also call. Sometimes. 
Now, we have this, very good. Now, remember that I sent you a dictionary? Do you remember the dictionaries that I sent you? Please check them out every day. Every day for the new words that we are using in the class. Now, these, these are verbs. These are important. Explain, complain, request, get. All of them are verbs. And verbs are actions. So we need actions to express ourselves. So it's time for you to start taking notes, make a list of vocabulary, so you can practice these verbs. Here we have a list of 12 verbs, right? So go ahead and take notes, please. Now we're going to continue here and we're going to work right now with this topic is the use of past and simple past affirmative. Just making sure, right? We ha you have never practiced simple past yet, right? Or have you? No. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. So I want you to please uh, pay attention, right? This is something very easy that we are going to do, right? And we are going to start with the past tense of the verb be, right? Do you remember the verb to be? Yes? Now we're going to start with the past tense of the verb to be. This is the first. That's the first class that we have in, in support, right? The first class that we had was the verb to be. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now just clear, we're gonna clear here and we're gonna clear as well, right? And we're gonna put here as tense with the topic past tense of be now the verb be right as a whole is pretty much divided in two categories right the two categories that we're going to have for the past tense pretty much are going to be this we have the part the verb be right and is divided in was and is divided in where. These two are the conjugation of the verb being, was and where, right? Now we are going to also, also use was, right? And where for some pronouns. Here for was, we're going to say, I, she, he, and it. And for where, we're going to use you, they, and where. Now, this is purely a structure. That's what we do when we have the verb be, right? That's the conjugation, remember that was and where. So I'm going to say, uh, last Saturday, I was in my house. I was in my house. Instead of say, I am in my house, because I am in my house is present, I will say, I was. Now, when do we use the past tense? The past tense, it's very simple, right? We are going to use it to describe activities that happened in the past, right? Is it, right? The past tense is to describe activities that happened in the past. Now, let me put it here. What is it? Da -da -da -da. I need you to please pay attention. Function. Okay. 
okay? Now, we're gonna have it here, right, with the function. Uh, Javier, can you read the function of the past tense, please? Function. The function of the simple past tense is to indicate an, an action events or the states that begin and conclude in the past. For example, I was happy in the party. I was happy in the party. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, I my question is, am I in a party right now? No. I am I going to be in a party tomorrow? Probably. But last Saturday, I was in a party and I was happy in the party. Right? So it's an action that happened. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about uh, the future, right? We talked about the future and we made the timeline in which we discover, right, that all of the activities that we did here, right, we're going to use going to, right, for the majority of the majority of the activities. But right now we're in the present, right? Today is October 3rd. October 3rd, right? And this is the future, right? Tomorrow and on, right? Tomorrow and on. And this is the past, right? This is the past. Now, in the past, all of the activities that we complete here in this period of time, right? They finished. They are not going to affect the present. They don't pass here, right? Everything is here is the past but these activities cannot go here and they cannot come here they stay always here because they are concluded finished in the past so for example i will say here i was in the university Last year. I was in the university last year. Then I have something that happened. How do we know, right, to make sure that we have the past? Sometimes we can use these time expressions, right? Time expressions to use in the past. These time expressions will tell us, okay, right? You are a specific, right? And then you use them to emphasize the activities that are happening in the past, right? For the, for example, we can say here, right? Last year, right? Last year, last month, last week right we can say also right in the past yesterday yesterday yes thank you yesterday right the day before yesterday what we say in in spanish antier right the day before yesterday right we can also say uh five years ago oh that is in 2018 2018 right or we can refer in 2021 2020 right 2020 1985 etc right all the numbers there right we can say also here last weekend in many more expressions many many more time expressions that we're going to use where and when 
in the past. Right? In the past. Now, right now we are conjugating only the past tense of the verb be. Right? The past tense of the verb be. Now, do you have questions right now for the past tense of the verb be? No questions? Okay, if we don't have questions, then let's continue, right? Let us continue. When we're going to use the past tense of be, right? Because this is something very important that we use, the past tense of be. We are going to use was or where, right? We already know that. Now, when we use was or where, right, to make our examples, the structure is going to be the same, right? We're going to have a subject, right, a verb be in past, verb be in past, right, plus complement. Remember, this is the verb be only, only the verb be. Now, what can I say here? For example, uh, Selena's life was meaningful to many Mexicans. So what is my subject in this sentence? My subject is Selena's life. My verb be was, and my complement is going to be meaningful to many Mexicans. Right, now, make sure, please, make sure that after the verb be, you don't have any other verb. This is not a verb. The only verb in this sentence should be the verb to be. Now, do you understand this example, guys? Yes, miss. Yes, okay, very well, very well. Now, this is for the affirmative form. For the negative form of was and where, the only thing that we're going to do is that we're gonna put them here, right? For the negatives, negative, we're going to use for was, was not or wasn't, okay. For where, we are going to use were not or weren't. Okay. These are my negative form in the past. The most common that you're going to listen to is wasn't or weren't. Wasn't or weren't. Now, do you understand this part, guys? Do you have questions? Hello? No, miss. No questions. Okay. Now, we're going to start here then. Right, I would like to listen to some of your examples using these structures, right? We have positive and negative. Now, what are some examples that you can give me with was and where? Examples, can you write some examples in the chat?
let's see she was sick yesterday i was a good student very good what else the others, thank you, Franco. Thank you, Anita. I was very happy during my childhood. Excellent. The war in El Salvador was very hard. Wow, tough example. Yes. How was it that tire? <laughs> very good. I wa uh, you was a beautiful night. Mm. Can a person be a knight? I wasn't asleep last night. Asleep. 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 Oh, asleep. My sister was a ballet dancer. Wow. Good. Javier, what's your example? Did you write your example? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you did. No? Yes, they were at the hospital. Thank you. He was not in Europe. Very good. Europe. He's not in Europe. Good, 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 good. Thank you, sis. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So now, how do we were tired about this service? About the service, some service in a specific. Very good, Eugenia. Now, we have our examples there, right? Positive and negative examples. When we make questions with the verb be in past, it's pretty much easy, right? We can also say here, right? Verb be. Verb be. Plus subject plus complement, right? And our question mark at the end, which is very important, right? And we can say, was your sister at the hospital? Oh, wow. Very good example here, right? I'm taking this from your sentences, you see? Was your sister at the hospital? Right. So we have the examples verb B, subject and complement. Right? Verb B, subject and complement. Was your sister at the hospital? I can also say, oh, was Roxana a student last year? Yes, she was a student last year. Were you tired about the service? Yes, we were tired about the service, etc. Right. Do you understand how to make the questions? Or do you have questions about it? Yes. Yes? Okay. Can you give me an example, Javier? What was, was an example? Huh? Was you lunch? And uh, Pollo Camper. Okay. Was your lunch at Pollo Campero? Okay. Lunch in Seria. <laughs> uh, okay. Otro tiempo. Seria, was you was you in was you in the Pollo Campero? Okay, very good. Was you in the Pollo Campero? Let's put it here. Thank you so much, Javier. Now I want you to help me. Was you in the pollo campero? All right. Thank you, Javier. Now look at this example. Right. And now I want you to go back. Look at this. What is the correct conjugation for the verb? What is it? Uh huh. 
Where, where, where are you in the fire company? Exactly. Sorry. Where are you? No, it's fine. Very good. Where are you? In, were you in the Pollo Campero? We can say in Pollo Campero. Yes, I was. Or mm -mm, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Very good example. Thank you, Javier. Right, we have one question here. An example. What could be another example? Mm -hmm. Another example? Was he to office today? Was he to office today? Mm -hmm. Okay, was he to office <coughs> today? Okay, now, if we make this question, was, he was to office today. He was to office today. Does it make sense, guys? What is the proposition that we should change? Uh, okay. hmm? huh? Today, not today. today. It yesterday, last week. No, we today, can say we can morning. say we can in say to, we can say at today the at the office. Yes, thank you. At Was he at the office? Remember, when we, we, when we use the preposition to, right? When we use the preposition to, it's a preposition of movement, right? We are here, right? Now, this is, this is Juanito, right? Juanito needs to go, right? Juanito needs to go to the office. So, this is to this movement to Juanito needs to go to the supermarket to the school to the stadium to now when we say at is because Juanito it's already here right so thank you Javier you're totally right so let's change it very good was he at office today? Was he at the office today? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Very good, Carol. Very good, Javier. What else? Another example. Let's see here. Were you in the Model 3 with me? Oh, nice. Very good, Marlene. Were you in Model 3 with me? Were they trained the co-workers yesterday? Now, what is happening there, Joanna? We have another verb. Look at oh. this. What okay, is the teacher. extra verb? Train. Train, exactly. Now, if we are using another verb, is what one of you said, right? We okay. need to have another conjugation. Were they training? the co-workers yesterday? That's past okay. mm -hmm. okay. were, mm -hmm. were they um, in the training room with the co-workers yesterday, for example? Right. Now, here we have to pay attention to the uses of the verb be. Do you remember the uses of the verb be? ¿Se recuerdan cuando iban a usar el verbo to be? No? No, okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna send it to you. Aquí lo tengo en la manito. I'm gonna send it to you. Da, 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 da. Contractions, uses of the verb be. Give me a moment.
These are the uses of the verb be. Now, those uses of the verb be, right, they transfer to the verb be in past. Okay, so it's going to be pretty much the same, right? It's going to be pretty much the same. So what I want you to do, right, is to use it, right? To use it, just let me send it to WhatsApp so you can take a look at it right now. Okay, you got it there? It says B uses. Esa es clase del día 2 y 3. Así que revisenla, por favor. It's important. That's very important. So if based on the picture that I sent you, if I want a location, I say, oh, my mother was in the supermarket, right? With a place of origin. My first phone was a Nokia. So it was from Japan, etc. right? So check that out, check it out. Now, do we understand the verb guys? Do you have questions right now? questions okay do you remember the use of there is and there are right there is and there are when do you use that is and there are do you remember that mm -hmm. there is and there are When do you use there is and there are, Emerson? When, the, when I need to uh, express the existence for the things. Very good. That's a very nice explanation. Thank you. So it's going to be the same, right? In the past is when we need to explain that something existed, right? In, in some, for example, in my house, five months ago, right, there was, there was a big chair, but last Sunday it got broken, right? So we needed to send it to the garbage. Now, when the, we have there are, we can say in my previous class, in module five, there were, Right, there were 25 students. So we are going to use also for existence, we use there were and there was, right? So these two, they don't have a, they don't have a contraction. We don't say there, there were, no. We're going to say there were not, there wasn't. The negative is the same, right, for them. Now, questions about this? Is it a lot of information? Yes, yes, right. It's a lot of information. I want you to do me a favor right now. We're gonna make an example. We're gonna make an exercise our book just about what and where. Give me a moment. I'm going to show you the exercise in a moment. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 
Give me a second, guys. I will put this right here. see my computer right now yes please. yes teacher okay now what we're going to do in this very moment is that we're going to use the affirmative or negative statements or question form of was and where right we can see the first example uh, adalberto can you read number one george dawson George Dawson was poor. George Dawson was poor. Very good, right? George Dawson was poor. And then in the same way, you are going to decide right now what is the best option. I need you to please, well, I will try to see if I can send it to you. Let me see if I can send it to you. So we can work with it right now, and we're going to work in pairs, okay? Oh, my goodness. No, I cannot send it to you. Give me a moment. Can you try to take a screenshot? Because my WhatsApp is not working on, on the computer right now. Try to take a screenshot and send it to the group. Can someone do that, please? Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Vladimir, for sending that very quick. Now, we're going to practice with that exercise. Pretty easy, we're gonna have 10 minutes and then we come back to share the answers. We are going to do that activity in pairs. So I just know that Daisy, she's, she's not gonna work right now. She's not here, uh, but what about the others? Todos los demás que tengo conectados están, eh, trabaja, van a trabajar, ¿verdad? Porque así no quiero dejar a nadie que solamente esté él o ella solito. Hola, hola. Imelda? Yes, teacher. Jose Alexander, yo no puedo ahorita. Dice Jose, ok, yes. De ahí todos los demás, todos pueden. Ok. Uh, let me see. Ok. Elena está bien, te dice. Ok, Elena. Let's go. Let's go, please. Emerson, Imelda, por favor, unanse sus equipos. Emerson. You're going to work only the two of you because Imelda doesn't answer, okay? Okay. No, no problem. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Where? There were apps. These are apps that 
time, there were many opportunities for him. Aquí. Number four. His parents. His parents is plural. No? Uh, his parents. Let's see. Were, were poor. Vamos a ver. El otro es. He, he was unhappy. Okay. Acá dice George Dawson wasn't uh, wasn't able to write his name. George Dawson wasn't able to write his name. Aquí sería was. Is 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 a pregunta. Was. He able to write his name. Was he able? Okay. Um, ah, esta es otra, es otra, es una pregunta. Es was. Was he happy to go to school? To school, yes, he was. He was. How old was he when he learned? Was to read. He was nine yes. years old. En la dos tengo dura porque entendí que no teníamos que mezclar dos verbos. Y este verbo. Nacer. Uh -huh. no. mm -hmm. Porque mire esta. Ah, no, pero es que este es... Bueno, terminemos. Y... De él. De él. Mm -hmm. Why, was, was, pero was, was not, was not, o was. No, porque es una de pregunta. hecho ella está diciendo, George Dawson was not able to write, able his, name. To write his name. Yes, why was not he able to write his name? Uh -huh. We was not he up. Ajá, porque lo que estamos haciendo es hacer la pregunta y en vez de poner Jordan uh -huh. da Dawson, estamos What? poniendo he. Uh -huh. Entonces ah, sería, sería ¿por, qué, ¿por qué él no escribe? Wasn't. Was not. ¿Así? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya no. Was. He was. Sí, porque está hablando de él. Bless you. Gracias. Was, was he happy to go to school? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Okay. Hold on. Was he when was tenía when learned to read? He ah. lo de was. No, was. ya la la nueve es de where where there. Ah. Where? Sí. Where there late 
slavery, slavery in the US when Dawson no, was, was born. No, there wasn't. Ahí no está dando la respuesta. Ahí no es was. No es was. Ahí es el was. Al final está dando la respuesta. Was es was. Cuando, cuando el nació. Cuando Dawson. La última es were. Ah, es el where was. Where there is slavery in the USA. Porque estaba time. hablando de él siempre. A lot of opportunities in America. Uh, the last one. Este, Carlos, en la ¿Sí? nueve sería was. Ok. Porque al final nos está dando la respuesta donde dice no, there wasn't. Ok. Ahí se habla para atrás de él. Ah. Was. Mm -hmm. Y where? Mm -hmm. Ahí sí. Ready? Ahí sí es where. Vale, si quieren platiquémosla. Ok. Si quieren, digamos una cada uno. Vale. 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 George Townsend was poor. Dawson was born in. Ay, ay, espérame, cuando no. Cuando, cuando... In... Ahí sería. Este, 80. 80. 98. 98, ajá. 8098. Carlos. Ahorita. ¿Cuántos somos? Tres. Sí. ¿Sí? No, cinco. Cuatro. cuatro somos. Sí, cinco. Ah, bueno, ahorita porque está Ay, la ticha. Ay, que José Alexander creo que no está. No está ah, es que él está de oyente. De oyente, sí. Vale. Ah, pues, Carlos. At, at that time, where... Uh, there were many opportunities for him. His parents was not poor. He was happy. George Watson wasn't able to write his name. Why was was not he able to write his name? Was he happy to go to school? Yes, he was. How old was he when he learned to read? He was 98 year old. Was there a slavery in the US when Dawson was born? No, there wasn't. Were there a lot of opportunity for American, African Americans at that time? No, there were, were, weren't. Así es, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, there Mi were, pronunciation weren't. were, were not a contract. Weren't. Weren't. Yo creo que ya, no, no, ahí, ahí está. Ahí es, teacher. Aquí. Digan. Eh, pronunciation were not eh, Weren't, weren't, weren't is correct. Weren't, no, weren't, 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 weren't. Exactly. weren't. The, the second E, you don't pronounce it. Oh, okay. Were, weren't, weren't, exactly. Weren't, weren't. Oh, okay. Miss eh, um, for his parents eh, was again eh, for his parents was was not poor parents is that yeah. singular or plural eh, um, 
His plural. Uh, plural. Uh, parents. Plural. Parents is parents. It singular or plural? Plural. Uh, plural. Uh, plural. Okay. Because when you say parents, you're talking about the mother and the father together. Yes. So. Yeah, aunque hable de, de, de sus padres, de los padres de él. You're talking about the parents, not about him. You're talking about the mother and the father. Okay, uh, where Exactly. His parents were not, were not poor. George Dawson was poor. Dawson was born in 1898. At that time, there were many opportunities for him. Parents were not poor. He was unhappy. George, George Watson wasn't able to write his name. Why wasn't uh, he able to write his name? Was he happy to go to a school? Yes, he was. How old was he when he learned read, to read? He was 88. Years old. I'm 90. <laughs> 98. <laughs> uh, was there a slavery in the US when that when Watson was born? Uh, no, there wasn't. Were there a lot of opportunity opportunities for African American? At that time, no, there weren't, weren't. <laughs> been. I bow. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi, Hi, teacher. Hi. Now we're going to check right now some of the, well, the exercise that you were completing. Right. And we're going to try to put here the answers that you mentioned. Just give me a moment. I want to put here. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, perfect. Okay, do you see where is where we have the um, the exercise, right? Okay, so the first one we said that George Dawson was poor. Now, what do we have for number two? Hey, in Janira del Carmen. And that son was born in uh, 1898. Was born in 1898. Thank you, Yanira. Next one, Eugenia, number three. Uh, 
At that time, there was many, many opportunities for him. There was many opportunities for him. Okay, thank you. Number three, Javier. Number four, sorry. Number four, for his, his parents was poor. Parents was poor, okay. Joanna, number five. He was unhappy. He was unhappy. Number six, please, Emerson. Why was he able to write his name? Why was, okay, can you read the complete sentence, Emerson? Okay, miss. Just, George Dawson wasn't able to write his name. Why was he able to write his name? Okay, thank you. Now let's continue here. Carol, go with number seven. Was he happy to go to school? Yes, he was. Uh, let's continue, Bernardo, number eight. How old was he when he learned to read? He was 98 years old. He was 90 years old. Very good. Uh, Noé, number nine. Number nine. Was there slavery when also? No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Number 10, please help me, Manuel. Were there a lot of opportunities for African American at that time? No, there weren't. There weren't. Okay, thank you. Now, there are here in this in these answers that you gave me. There are some mistakes, okay? If we check here, let's see, am I missing another one? We're gonna click on where it says check all, right? We click and there are some mistakes, okay? Mm-hmm, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. look, very good. We have like 50-50. Now, what's gonna happen? I want you to please pay attention right here right we have the first one it says george dawson was poor we're talking about george very good dawson was born we're talking about a person it's singular is singular at that time there was many opportunities now many opportunities is this singular or plural plural it's plural okay very good so what is the answer where there were right there were many opportunities right one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't know many opportunities right so we're gonna put here where his parents was poor now here right his parents now, remember that the word parents, right, describes two people. Traditionally, it can be the mother and the father. It can be the father and the father. It can be the mother and the mother, right? But his parents are, is talking about two. And when we say that, right, what is going to be the correct form? Where? His parents were poor. Were poor. Very good. He was unhappy, right? This one, it can be was unhappy or wasn't unhappy. I will show you right now a dialogue about George Dawson so you can read it before we go, right? That's why it says he wasn't unhappy, right? Because of the dialogue, but don't worry. This one, it can be positive or negative. Now we have there number six, right? 
George Dawson wasn't able to write his name. So he couldn't, he couldn't write his name. He couldn't, right? So based, based on that, what is the answer, Vladimir? Or wasn't. Wasn't. Why wasn't he able to write his name? Aha, we are surprised. Remember what I told you before, right? The negative questions are for surprise. So we say, oh, Sylvia, Sylvia wasn't happy at the party. <gasps> Why wasn't she happy in the party? Right? So we're surprised, wasn't. And we continue here, right? The other ones are perfect right here. Was, was, everything is great, right? We show the answers. Weren't, where, wasn't, wasn't, right? Those are the correct answers. Like I said, number five is because of a, a, a piece of article that we're going to read in one moment. Now, do you have questions? About what's the, where? The number five. I, uh, Javier. I not understood. Javier, it is based yes. on a reading. It is based on a reading about uh, Dawson. The reading is here. Give me a moment. I'm going to close it. It's about this. He is Dawson. Right? So the answer in that case is based about this. Right, based on this, that's why it says wasn't unhappy. But you can write wasn't or was. Okay? Now, we're going to continue. No, 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 teacher. In the article, in this article, can you see the article? Can you see the article, Javier? No, no, no. You in the moon, see teacher. The <laughs> Listen to me. Can you see the article on the screen? The article. Puede ver el artículo en la pantalla. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay. That's an article. Okay. When you see the article there, in this article, right, it says that Mr. Dawson, Mr. Dawson wasn't unhappy. That is why in answer number five, you need to write wasn't unhappy, but you didn't know. So you can write wasn't or was, both are correct. I can say, yes, I was unhappy. No, I wasn't unhappy, okay? So, but here, right, it says here that he wasn't, let me show you, right here. This article in the answers. Yeah. We have some of the answers, just one. The other ones are about grammar, right? Just number five is here. Do, 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 do. Some, somewhere here. Mm. I was surprised. I think this he, is this, huh? In the finish, they say he enjoy a life. He enjoyed his life, yes, exactly. He enjoyed his life, so he wasn't unhappy. He was very happy, right? So if we read this article, right, we understand that he wasn't unhappy. But grammatically speaking, you can write positive or negative. It's okay. Now, we continue. We check again the answers for the book. Just give me a moment. One moment, one moment. Oops, oopsie, 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 oopsie. Okay, perfect. Now, so, more questions about this? More questions about this? Yes? Uh, I thank you. Uh, number seven. Um, seven, seven. Uh -huh. Was he happy to go to school? Yes, he was. Was, 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 was. Thank you, teacher. 
You're welcome. Yes. Yes. Okay, now we are going to check right now, right? An article, the article for Mr. Dawson, we're going to read it and tomorrow we are going to work with the past tense of the other verbs, right? We're going to see regulars and irregular verbs tomorrow. Now, let me show, can I, can I remove this right now? ¿Puedo quitar eso la pantalla? Yes? Yes, miss. Okay, very good. Well. Very, very good. Okay, now let me put here, right? We're just going to try to complete this one. Okay, I would like you to please listen to this. We're going to listen and read at the same time an article, right? It says here, never to learn. To learn. This article, it, it has a lot of information in past tense. Now, tell me if you can listen to this. Never too late to learn. Did you listen to that? Yes, miss. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Very good. Listen, please. And you are going to read. And tomorrow we are going to identify the past tense. Okay? Let's start. Learn. George Dawson was a successful man. Was he famous? No, he wasn't. He was just an ordinary man who did something extraordinary. George Dawson lived in three centuries, from 1898 to 2001. He was born in Texas, the grandson of slaves. At that time, there were fewer opportunities for African Americans. Dawson was the oldest of five children. His family was very poor, so George had to work to help his family. He started working for his father when he was only four years old. As a result, he didn't have a chance to get an education. He didn't learn to read and write. He signed his name with an X. When Dawson was 98 years old, he decided to go to school. He wanted to learn to read and write. He went to adult literacy classes. The teacher asked him, do you know the alphabet? When he answered no, his teacher was surprised. Over the next few years, his teacher taught Dawson to read and write. Dawson said, every morning I get up and I wonder what I might learn that day. Richard Globman read an article about Dawson in the newspaper and wanted to meet him. Globman helped Dawson write a book about Dawson's life called Life is So Good. Dawson was 102 when the book was published. Dawson wrote about what makes a person happy. He learned from his father to see the good things in life. They had a close family, and George never felt lonely. Dawson says in the book, People worry too much. Life is good just the way it is. Was George Dawson a success? He definitely was. He enjoyed life and accomplished his goal, learning to read and write. Very well. So that is the article, right? That we are going to check tomorrow at the beginning of the class for the past tense with other verbs and with the verb to be, okay? Now, do you have questions for today before we go? No? Okay, if you have questions, please let me know.
in the meantime, we're going to call the attendance. Right. We have here Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pinedo Cast Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Calante Enríquez. Present to me. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Vigaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Daniela del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. En Pabla de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok, perfect. So, today we have practice in our book. Right? Vocabulary, of course. Right? We practice vocabulary for customer service. We practice, a, well, we review the use of can and could and demonstrative pronouns. Now, we started working with the pass of B. We didn't work in this part, so this is for tomorrow. We already finished this, but tomorrow we are going to work on simple past, right? With these verbs, with the regular verbs. And we're going to do, of course, more exercises. Now, I want you to please, once you go home or you have time, practice this, okay? Practice the links that we offer here. It's very important that you practice your listening skills. Every time that you see this, right, you need to practice the listening. And we don't have time to do it here. So I want you to please practice once you have free time, okay? Now, other than that, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night and bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, -bye. Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. guys. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.